Okay. My first thing that I'm going to do is read the first part of my question. Mary had a bag full of marbles. She had three purple, four green, two pink. I don't have pink, so I'm going to make it gray. And three blue marbles. The first thing I'm thinking of when I see that is what she actually had. So I'm going to total those up. So 3 plus 4 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So Mary had a total of 12 marbles. And I'm putting it under the fraction as a denominator because I know that that always represents the total. Now the second part, here's the actual question. If Mary decided to have a total of 60 marbles hmm, in her bag, how many would be pink? So that tells me that I probably should create a proportion because I know on the bottom is total so I'm saying if Mary had a total of 60, how many would be pink? Well, how many always to me means I need to do an X. <laughs> so if I were to set up my proportion with words and in the boxes that we set up in the past with proportions, on the top here, I would write pink because they're asking me about pink. And here's total. So the first part of my proportion would be what Mary has. Mary has two pink out of 12 total in her bag. And then the second part of the question is talking about a total of 60. But then it's asking me how many would be pink. So there's my proportion. And I know now, because this is the easy part, what to do. Stylus is awesome. To set up my, my math, 2 times 60 equals 12x. 2 times 60 is 120 equals 12x. Divide both sides by 12. I love when we have zeros. That crosses out. X equals, well, 12 divided by 12 is 1. Ten. So if Mary had a total of 60 marbles, 10 would be pink. And that's when you actually have to, if it's asking you to predict, you set up a proportion. And always remember when you're setting up that proportion, remember to go back to what we did way in the beginning and make your titles because that always helps. Bye.